everybody, I'm Mathilde and it's Thibaut. And uh, today we have decided to follow the five students that have won the competition. They have to imagine the school of tomorrow. Okay. So, so do, 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 do you want me to, to say something uh, along those lines, and then every, each one of you can can react on why yeah, you think yeah, it would be interesting yeah. and so on? I'm really, kind of nervous, but I'm also super excited just to finally have the chance to share all of our ideas and to just have this chance to open the floor to questions and speak with so many educators from across the world. It's 25 past nine, and the five students are about to begin the presentation in five minutes. They have three minutes to speak about their vision of journalism education in the future. And they have a lot of ideas that they want to be implemented in schools. Let's see. Journalism, Paris Olympics are here today. Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to winners. This is the beginning of something. As yesterday we had this declaration that was the just we signed this declaration, then we will implement it in all our schools, then we will have it endorsed by international NGOs. So journalists should know how to deal with these kind of people. They should know how to interact with people who don't want them there, people who perhaps don't like them. They've got to have the skill to step out of their comfort zone and speak directly to somebody and perhaps engage on that level. Some is that the most popular complaint is that we get too much theory and we don't have enough time to apply our knowledge and practice. can't communicate the essential passion and curiosity that is journalism to an excited and idealistic six-year-old, what hope is there for the future of journalism? While I talk about optimism, now there was this a very different vibe here, means which actually you know adds on to optimism. It was a very positive vibe. Now we had scholars who were too excited about this event. We, we we did see the number of attendees here. So now that was something which actually gave me hope that you know we could actually expect something better. So I think that you know some of the proposal like you know building a global youth voice uh, platform uh, where students from all over the world and all sorts of uh, discipline can be invited to tell their stories and use the journalism students as helper to give them a voice uh, would be a really fantastic amplifier. The students are free until the closing plenary. Tonight they will attend a, a special party on a tour boat. But that we can show you. It is the last vlog, so we hope you enjoy our productions. Bye! Bye.